Alrighty, welcome on back everybody to Slognard's Nerd Cave. Today we're going to be checking out an early access, I believe this is an alpha state right now. It's an early access of a game called Tremitri, Tremutri, Trimurtai Online. It's supposed to harken back to the old school days of MMORPGs. Now, I already like the graphical aesthetics of this, so let's jump in. We'll make a new character. Let's see, let's see we got Warrior, Assassin, a Monk. Wizard. Okay, so we got four classes to choose from. I don't really want to play a tank right at the back because I don't know how much I'll be playing with other people. Let's go Monk. We'll be something different. Normally, I don't play Monks in these games. So we'll go Monk. We'll be Slognar the Monk. Let's go for this little five o'clock shadow guy over here. That's cute. We'll go with that. Hairstyle. Very limited to start with, but again, you know, it's uh, alpha stage. We'll go with this. I'm going to go gray like an old man. Let's do that. I'm starting to go gray anyways. These are martial artists. They excel in stopping the flow of enemies' regenerative abilities and weakening their defense. They can also use powerful skills that expose the enemy's weak points. Most of Vida's skills are for support and backup. Let's go with Nakayuda. Damn, I'm fucking chiseled, you guys. I'm fucking ripped. Okay, we gotta click on him. He runs up. That's a nice little touch. Running up to the front of the screen. Here we are. Oh my god, that was a terrible sound. That was awful. That was an awful sound effect. Okay, we got this nice little glowing aura around us. All right, WASD to move. That makes sense. I got a new keyboard too. Got that Razor Huntsman. So now you guys aren't gonna be hearing my clicky clacks constantly. Looks like we wanna talk to the memory maiden. Not sure why my player icon is like a bear paw, but we'll go with it. Memory maiden. Okay, I can zoom out and zoom in with the wheel, mouse wheel. Oh, there we go. A little bit of lag on that. But again, we're in alpha, right? So that's all to be expected. Customize and welcome adventurer. Welcome adventurer. Hello, you seem new here, but we need your help. Find priest Vantana inside the temple up north. Okay. I come from faraway lands, yet I sense familiar familiarity upon looking at you closely. I sense tremendous power from you. A bright future ahead, I see. Confused how you got here? Do not fret. I will help you introduce... I will help you introduce to our village chief, Priest Vantana. Okay. Spacebar to accept. All right, right-click to change the camera around or to move the camera around. That all makes sense. Let's see, does it show on the mini-map? We'll go this way, maybe. I'm trying to figure out... All right, what happens if we click on that? Okay, that brings up the quest. We'll get some Drew. Movement speed, all right. I don't see any other players around. Let's see, where is there? There's a blacksmith, Vartan. Nice little sound effects for the blacksmith. It's good animation, though. Good animation. I don't know where we're supposed to go. I'm going to assume the priest is in this building over here. It looks like we got E, find target. All right, what does that do? I didn't find a target. R is attack, and F is pick up item. Oh, hey. Oh, I thought that was another player, but... Just spawned in. Okay. I imagine they'd be in the temple. Yeah, look at me. I was right. Let's see the map. All right. It does show where he is on the map. So I guess next time I can just do that. Priest Vantana. All right. You seem to be new here, but we need your help. All right. You already told me that. Greetings. Welcome to Mandra, friend. I am Vantana, a priest and an overseer of Mandra, Mandara village. Since you are new in the village, let me introduce you to the notable villagers of Mandara. Okay, so it looks like we're going to get our typical little fetch quest, learn a little bit about the town. So we need to start with Krishuna. I'm butchering all these names. I apologize. Find Krishuna just outside the temple and send my regards. I accept. There we go. A lot of little sound effects. Looks like I got Pranus and Bronze Urn. So let's open up our inventory. Okay, so they're going to have dungeon tickets. I don't really like that in these games, but what are you going to do? Increase movement speed. Can I put this down on my hotbar? I can. And we got Dara, which is going to be our health potion. So let's drop that down there too. Well, that all works as planned. So that's cool. Let's try this movement speed. Okay, I'm definitely faster. Shows us up here in the left-hand side. Increase movement speed by one for five minutes. Okay, and then I can see on my mini-map. Has this little... Oh, and this big old green question mark over her head. Krishuna. What's up, girl? Hello, you knew... Okay, so that dialogue is all the same. I need a favor. My pockets are full. 
I don't think you have pockets, so that might be your first problem. Uh, my pockets are full and I need to store this precious mirror that I got as a gift. Can you give this to Buvan for safekeeping? He is our official storage. Okay, so we're going to learn about the storage. Yeah, she doesn't have pockets. I guess, no, that's not a pocket. That's a little wrist thing. Here, take this mirror and find Buvan. Yeah, I could see her pockets getting full really quick with the whole not having pockets. All right, so we got the precious mirror. Is that in our inventory? It is. Krishuna's precious mirror. Okay, so we're going to learn about storage now. Let me open the map. Can't zoom in on the map. So that's not ideal. We need to find Buvan. There's a storehouse. Is this another player? Maybe. Am I blind? I don't see where the storehouse is. You show me. You show me where to go. No. It's got to be around here somewhere. I could just be blind. I'm willing to accept that. There we go. Okay, it doesn't show it on the map until you get close, which kind of defeats the whole purpose of it, but whatever. Storehouse Buvan. Mandra's trusted storage keeper. So nice to meet you. Yeah, that dialogue's all the same again. I can safe keep anything important, not only from villagers. This means you can also store your precious items here and I will guard it with all I have. But first I need you to collect three small horns outside of the village by slaying those Vasa Bahams. Do not worry. They're pretty much harmless. You can easily get the materials for me. Okay. Well, oh, and he's going to give us some shoes? Hell yeah. So I can already tell... Man, there's something in my left eyeball, dude. I can already tell... Ooh, how this questing is going to play out. This is going to be like all old school MMORPGs where you're just going to have to kill a bunch of shit all the time. Let's check out what's our storage look like. Looks like we get a good amount of storage, so that's cool. That's pretty cool. All right, I can see on the map we got these little red guys. Those are probably where we need to collect our small horns. Okay, and we've gone through. Loading screen in between areas. That's okay. Here we are. I mean, the world looks not... Oh my god, that's a ter... Whatever sound effect they have when you load into an area, it's like an electrical buzz. That is just fucking terrible. That is awful. They need to not have that sound effect. Let's see, you can click on them. You press tab to target too. So these are the Vasbahums. Well, let's try attacking with R. All right, here we go. We are officially playing an MMO. We did it. We defeated our first enemy. Okay, he's still alive though. Um, <laughs> okay, I guess there's no, no death animation yet. Um, what happened? Why can't I move? Now, now WASD isn't working. Hello. Let's try chatting. Hey, well, that works. Um, yeah, now it's not letting me move. Enter. Oh, okay, well, let's see. We got W typed in there. I can't move now. I don't think that's intended. What if I just click R? Okay, I can jump. But now WASD isn't working. So maybe we beat the game already. I am unable to move. Here's our character sheet. Pretty basic. Doesn't even have the name above it. Hey, you come here. Let me attack you. I think I broke the game. I think it's broken. I'm not stuck in like the chatting. I thought maybe because I've done that before in MMOs where I'm like stuck in the chat mode. But none of the movement is working. Whether I press tab or not. What about alt? Yeah, see, I can't even attack this guy now. Okay, well, let's try reloading. All right, it's voiceover time now because I messed up the recording for this game. Back from the main menu, we reload into the game to see if we can continue with our combat. We take down another Vasabam, only to experience the same exact issue. It appears that the monk is completely broken. After a combat encounter, your monk will no longer be able to move rendering you completely useless inside the game. So we will create a brand new character. We're going to try out the wizard this time. We create old wizenator here and we choose a random cosmetic and I end up looking more like a monk than my monk did. But that's all right. Let's jump in and see if the combat's broken on the monk as well. I blazed through all the opening quests we already saw so we can get right to the combat. Off to kill more Vashabums. Vasabums, Vasabums, however you want to say it.
In old MMORPG fashion, our wizard has a dagger that he uses to attack people with, because why would you use a cane? Why would you use a staff when you have a perfectly good mage dagger to use? The good news is combat is not broken. Well, at least this aspect is not broken for the mage. We are able to successfully kill enemies and continue fighting. We need to collect three small horns. Since we're actually able to complete combat, I'm able to level up. I assign my points into health and mana. They're unique, so of course they're not going to use the terms health and mana. They use heart and mental. So we throw our points in and we continue adventuring. After our level up, I give the age-old test of, is it better than New Worlds? And I run into the water. Back to collecting the small horns, we shall go. More riveting combat. And about five to ten minutes later, we actually collect our three small horns for this first quest. With the horns collected, we return to town and we speak to Buvan to finish our quest objective. He then wants us to go speak to the town blacksmith. But before we do that, I realize that my wrist would probably break if I always kept them in this position. I equip the shoes that are given to us from completing that quest, and I'm happy to see that indeed your cosmetics do change with the gear that you have. So that's a nice touch. I always hate it when MMOs don't give you any kind of visual gear progression. The blacksmith is elated to see that we have damaged our gear, so that's very nice of him. It's always good when the blacksmith loves to see your gear get broken. Very supportive. We're giving some enchanting material here, which I think you all know if you play MMOs. That means there is going to be a system that is going to punish you for trying to upgrade your gear down the road. So that's always fun. Our next quest is to do the same exact thing we just did and collect three small horns from the same enemies we just killed. So it's good to see a huge variety in this gameplay so far. I'm not prompted from the game, but I decided to investigate around and I do find our skills list. So here you can see we have a handful of different skills to choose from. We have mantras. I take the first mantra, which fires a mantra energy at the opponent. We'll take that and we'll level it up two slots. And then I also pick up a passive, which will help increase our range of attack. As a wizard, we do not want to be close to the enemies, so we will take advantage of this. Back out the gate we go to kill the same exact monsters we just killed to pick up the same exact things we just picked up. Well, hey, that spell actually worked pretty well. So that felt good to use, a nice little effect as well. It's now that I accidentally target an enemy that I should not have targeted. I cast my spell at him and he comes charging towards me. And just like any brave wizard, I run for my life, realizing there's no way I could possibly take this guy on. To the safety of the town, we retreat. While I'm being a brave, brave boy, I decide to investigate the town. And that's when I find. Horseman Raul. Horseman Raul has a very interesting dialogue here. He says, caressing horses gives me a sense of peace. Well, that's something. I think we will leave old Horseman Raul here to caress away at his horses. I want no part of that. No, thank you. Let's go see if we can find a potion. I need some more mana potions, so we will try to find them at the pharmacist. I sure hope this guy is not planning on caressing his crow. And as luck might have it, I cannot afford any mana potions, so back out to adventure we go. Now, I'm not sure if it's a server issue or what, but it seems like most of the time my mantra attack does not want to work. I spend the next few minutes running around trying to get it to a reliably attack, but no such luck. Even when I have my mana capped out, it seems like it just willy-nilly decides when it actually wants to use my mantra attack. You can see here, even when I'm casting it, I don't get the effect of the attack. I get these nice little sparkle effects, but none, that green orb doesn't shoot out, which signifies the damage is actually being done. I mess around with this probably for another 5-10 minutes, and it's really inconsistent. I resort to the old wizard tactic of stabbing things with my knife. So that was fun. After magically stabbing enough enemies... I have my three small horns collected, and I return back to the blacksmith to complete this quest. Excited to continue this adventure, I speak with blacksmith Varotan. And what do you know? The quest is broken. I speak to him, but I cannot turn in the quest. There's, no, there's nothing else I can do here. So the big IQ me decides that I should restart again 
hoping that returning to the main menu will re-trigger the quest chain. But first, I channel my inner World of Warcraft player and I run in circles around town. So if there's anything I learned about MMOs, it's that peak gameplay is running around in circles while you wait for something to happen. But that did not solve the problem. So back to the main menu we go. Loaded back in, I'm greeted with zero quests. Not only was the quest I'm working on disappeared, but I have no other quests that I can accept. So I am now officially at a non-progression point. I can't pick up any new quests. I can't turn in the quests I have. So this marks the end of our gameplay. This was our adventure into Trimitru, Trimatru Online. This is a alpha test. So I wasn't expecting very much, but what is here is in very rough shape. Now, if you saw this video and you still said, hey, that looks like fun, I wanna try it out. You can sign up for the alpha play test on their Steam page. I'll leave a link down below. Well, thank you for watching everybody. And hopefully next time I don't screw up my audio recording so I don't have to do a voiceover for it. Please think about leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. I'll be streaming some more of my hardcore Diablo 2 run tonight. So if you guys want to check that out and most likely see me die, you're more than welcome to tune in to that. Well, thanks everybody. Have a great night and I'll catch you on the next one. See you.